Will the COVID vaccine affect my fertility? There is absolutely no evidence that COVID-19 vaccines can affect the fertility of a woman or a man. There is very strong data that shows that men and women have gone on to fall pregnant after having both doses of the vaccine. There's no need to avoid pregnancy after vaccination. The vaccine cannot give you or your baby COVID-19. The British Fertility Society and the World Health Organization and the JCVI have all looked at the latest data and research, and they say that the vaccines are safe and encourage everyone to please take the vaccine when you are offered. I don't really trust the vaccine because it has been developed and approved too quickly. I want to wait and see what happens before I take it. Yes, we did get the vaccines in a very short period of time, but they have gone through rigorous testing and have passed all the stages before getting approved. And the work didn't start after COVID appeared. The technologies used in the vaccines were being developed years ago, so we had a head start there. And as COVID turned into a full-blown pandemic, scientists, funders, regulators, everyone came together so that we can get a safe and effective vaccine as quickly as possible. And now we do. So it was quick, but no corners have been cut. What's in it for me? I'm young and healthy. Even if I catch COVID-19, it won't affect me. I think this is a bit of a misconception. We have to consider not only ourselves, but everyone around us. Think about the people that have got a COVID infection that don't show any symptoms. If that was you, you could be carrying it around, spreading it to your parents, to your grandparents, to your friends, and the people more vulnerable in the community. Working in the hospital, I saw not only older people being affected by COVID infections, but also young people too, getting really breathless, getting long COVID and it adversely affecting their lives. I have heard that the COVID-19 vaccines affect your periods. Is that true? After millions of doses of the vaccine being given across the globe, there is no evidence that COVID-19 vaccine causes long-term problems with your periods and it does not affect your fertility. It's important to understand that the lining of the womb is where the immune system also sits. So just like having a temperature and a headache and aches and pains is a side effect of any vaccine because it triggers the immune system to make antibodies, that same immune response happens in the womb lining. Therefore, you might get an irregular period, but this is temporary. Our cycles vary due to so many factors, but actually catching COVID-19 has a very good chance of messing with your menstrual cycle. So the best way to protect your overall health and your cycles is to get vaccinated. I've heard one vaccine's better than the other and I want to wait for a particular brand. Well, there's a lot of competition and social media chat about which vaccine is better and people feel very strongly about their particular brand of choice. However, here's the thing. In certain countries, you get to pick which vaccine you get, but in other countries like in mine in England, you get the vaccine you're offered. But the good news is this, all the vaccines work in a very similar way and the efficacy is extremely high. That is, they give you excellent protection regardless of the brand, so don't worry about it too much. Is the vaccine halal? Yes, it is. Multiple religious authorities, including the British Islamic Medical Association, have declared that the COVID vaccines are halal. You may have heard rumors that the COVID vaccines contain pork fat or pork ingredients, but those are simply not true. There are pork ingredients in some vaccines, for example, a specific MMR vaccine and one of the chickenpox vaccines, but both of these vaccines have alternatives that do not contain pork ingredients. As for the COVID vaccines, there is no pork fat or pork ingredients in the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, the Moderna vaccine, the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine, or the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. What's the point of having the vaccine if we still have to wear masks and social distance? I think the point here is that the vaccine, although very good, is not 100% effective at preventing COVID. So still there's a small risk that you could catch the infection. On top of that, there's so many people who aren't vaccinated that you could spread the infection to. So at the moment, we still need to follow the national guidance of wearing masks, of social distancing. We will get to a point where there's so many people vaccinated, there's such little COVID that we can start to remove these barriers but for now, it's the best thing that we can do to get back on track and to get back to normal life. I am pregnant. Is it safe for me to have the COVID-19 vaccine? 
This is a question I'm getting a lot. From the 17th of April 2021, the Royal College of Obstetrics and Gynaecology and the JCBI have concluded from the data that the COVID jab is safe and can be given any time in the pregnancy, but preferably after the first trimester. And it's a choice that should be offered to all pregnant women. This is because although pregnant women are at no greater risk of being infected by the virus, they're more likely to have complications from COVID-19. Data shows that one in five pregnant women who have become unwell with COVID need to have her baby early. So by having the vaccine, it will safeguard the mum from going into early labour and the vaccine provides immunity to the baby against COVID-19. Do I really need to get my second dose? I've heard one gives you good protection. Well, that's true. We know one dose of the vaccine does give you very good protection. However, it's that second dose that's the clincher. It's that second dose that gives you the long-term protection. It gives your immune system the memory it needs. If you see COVID in the future, it's ready to fight it all over again.